As I walked down the streets, I no longer felt that the weight of my body was a burden. Instead, it was a link of union with this mirage I called reality. Every step was a caress. Every breath of air was a blessing. These sensations were so surprising that I felt as if I were living in a new body and a new mind. The thought of receiving any further massages from Magdalena was distinctly unattractive. A bird does not need extra air to fly. A fish does not need extra water to swim without limits. I allowed a week to pass during which my eating habits changed. I could no longer tolerate meat, coffee, or dairy products. Rice best suited my stomach. It also reminded me of Ijo Takata. On the same day his image came to mind. I received from Annapurla a postcard with a Hindu style Buddha on it announcing the imminent return of our master. I bought a bouquet of white roses and went to say goodbye to Magdalena. Her door was open, but the room was empty. I went downstairs and asked the taco merchant where she had gone. The people working there only shrugged their shoulders, noticing one of the boys offering himself in the street nearby. I asked him about her whereabouts. Doña Magdalena is like the wind, he answered. She arrives bearing her seeds, sows them, and then leaves. No one can pin her down. I murmured to myself, under the motionless clouds, the wind carries away the city.